Hey friends, have I got something fun for you. Today, we are going to investigate water. That's right. Do you know what investigate means? Well, when you investigate, you look very closely at something. Right now, I'm holding water. Water is used for washing, cooking, cleaning, among other things. Right now, this water is in a liquid state and it moves and it takes the shape of its container. I can pour water from one container into another and it takes the shape of that container. Friends, what am I holding? Do you have one of these in your home? Yeah, it's an iron, right? And it straightens out your clothes. You have to be careful though. Irons get very, very hot. Hmm. I wonder what would happen, I just had a thought, if we poured some water into the iron. You want to see? Okay. I'm pouring water into the iron. Close the top. Wow! Do you see that? What happened to the water that I just put in there? You're right. It turned into steam. So now you know that water can also be in the matter of steam. I've got something else for you because I know... You wanted to see more steam. Take a look closely. This is a tea kettle and I put water in and steam is coming out. So this water again is in the state of steam or gas. So we've looked at water as a liquid. We've looked at water as a gas and now there's one more. We're going to look at water as a solid. Does anybody know what this is? Have you seen one of these? You have? Where? In the freezer? What's in it? Ice. What is ice? Yeah, ice is frozen water. Well, hmm. When I touched the liquid, it felt very wet. The steam, the steam, rather, I didn't touch because I already knew it was very hot. Didn't want to get burned. But I'll touch the ice. How do you think the ice feels? It's very cold. It feels very cold. How does the ice look? Does it move like the liquid? No. This is frozen. And that makes this water a solid. So now we know that water can be a liquid, a gas, or a solid. So friends, what did we do today? We investigated water. We looked at water as a liquid. We looked at water as a gas. And we even looked at water as a solid. Now, perhaps you and an adult can do some of this investigating in your own home. But remember, when it comes to the steam part, you'll need extra, extra help.